Hi folks, I hope everyone's doing good and feeling even better. Uh, let's take a quick spin around the block as we usually do. Uh, today I have to maneuver around. I got the scale right out in front so I don't have to slide it out this time. So we'll just spin right around that. Kind of change things up there. There's some old stuff I haven't shown and some new stuff I haven't shown. But what I want to show today is a pretty sweet Shatton Morgan. It's a special factory order. We don't need the pedestal for this. It's a special factory order for KKCA. The A is kind of worn off, but that's Kansas Knife Collectors Association in Wichita, Kansas. And the Tang stamp says Queen Cut on it. And I dated it to 1990 to 2018. So that's a big spread. But this has 90s written all over it. Especially it's got some wear here. You know, for the... Um, Collectors Association. It's a single blade. It's called a uh, green pick bone. And you'll see the tones of green towards the center of the bone. And it's like a, uh, a brownish red in the pick. It's a center swell with probably, you could probably call those some butter bean caps. But it's my first center swell and I really like it. But what got me was this uh, um, spear point. Nice and aggressive, pointy at the front. Uh, extremely sl uh, slim. It's a slim slicer. Slick slicer. You can cut uh, some pretty thin tomato slices there for the BLT. Fits in the hand. Uh, I mean, because you got that little swell there, so it kind of locks in. The choil's not real big. You know, up by the forefinger. But it's really comfortable. And this, your third finger kind of locks up against that swell. So it gives it a really um, secure feeling. And I think it looks pretty sweet, too. I like the color combination. Fit and finish. Uh, no problems till you get up to here, where it's slightly proud when it's engaged. There's no half stop. Plenty of spring. And <clears throat> not centered. Um, probably about a seven pull, maybe an eight. But let's clean it up and weigh it. It's pretty light. It's only a single blade. Um, I'm figuring it's probably about three and a half inches. Let's set it out here. Got it cleaned up. Let me push this down just a tad without having the whole thing come falling down, which it looks like it wants to do. There we go. Okay. Two point seven six. Not too bad. Get a good look at it here. Kind of rocking the boat. Hold on. There we go. Well, it's <laughs> this thing's falling apart. 
I didn't plan this. Hang on. Okay, it's a little going to be off center a little bit. I ain't got time to play with it. There we go. Oh, the things that happen. Let's see what we got for size. Um, spin it this way so everybody can see. Actually, three and three quarters. So it's a little bigger than I thought. Not surprised. So my guesswork is terrible. Um, blade length. What's that? Almost two and three quarters. If you're counting everything. Two and five eighths. With a two and a half inch cutting edge. So what I did over here is I pulled out some other spear points to compare it to. So we got the IXL uh, Wooston Home. Try and get them pivot to pivot. And a GEC number 85. It's actually a Titiute beaver tail. So I don't know. Are we pretty much straight on the pivots? So there's three completely different spear point shapes. Got long and sleek, almost a drop point on the uh, IXL. And you got the extra wide at the tip beaver tail. The short aggressive uh, stylings on the Shat and Morgan. Let's see if we can get it under some better lighting. I don't like that lighting there. Here, this looks a little better. Got a swell end, center swell. And I guess you probably could call that a uh, swell end too, or teardrop with that cap. I guess that would be a teardrop. But that's it. It's going to be a nice user. It's a single blade. I picked it up cheap. Well, I guess $40 if you consider that cheap. There's nothing wrong with it. Let's check the compare thickness of the blade. Let's do the Tidute. And there's quite a difference there. Shat Morgan's a slicer. Let's see what the Wooston home of Sheffield's got. Oh, that's a big old thick spine. So, there you have it. The Shat and Morgan center swell, butter bean caps, keystone shield, spear point. Special factory order, um, brushed finish, little swedge on the top, uh, never been used, no box. But I'll have fun using that one. Let's set it right back down here for one more final. <coughs> one more final volley. Everything looks a little mixed up back down there.
All right, folks. Everybody take care. Peace.